Mars. From a distance, a seemingly red and yellow colored wasteland. Full of impact craters and signs of better landscape days gone by. But even in this seemingly barren state, we can find landscapes on our nearest celestial neighbor, equaling in beauty to that of many of Earth's most precious and loved landscapes. Let me take you on a journey of what some of Mars has to offer. Danielson Crater Located in the southwest Arabia Terra region of Mars. Rock, formed billions of years ago, cemented in place one layer at a time. Wind scattering blue sand creating a zebra-like pattern. This area might become a good hiking destination once Starship establishes multiple colonies on Mars' surface. Due to the well-preserved layers in the sediment, this area could also serve well for archaeological expeditions. Sand Dunes in the Area of Layat Crater These dunes are also called Barkin Dunes, and are made of finer materials of different composition than their surroundings. This particular dune looks a bit like the Star Trek insignia. In the South Malus Chasma region, these dunes appear to have turned to stone. Since the wind is no longer able to move these dunes, Polar Layered Ice Cake This area is an exposed section of the North Polar Layered Deposits. It is made up of water ice and dust particles stacked on top of each other. Perhaps one day we will extract water here to support the colonization efforts. Martian Morse Code The dashed dunes are linear dunes formed by bidirectional winds. The wind from multiple directions forms the shape of the dunes, while interruptions in the wind creates smaller dots. Southern Holden Crater In this area the sedimentary layers are visible. Sequences like these offer a window into Mars's complicated geologic history. This area was once a candidate for the Mars Science Laboratory mission. Nili Patera is one of the most active dune fields on Mars. In as little as a few weeks, changes in the dune fields are observed by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. Who knew that the Martian wind can have such a dramatic effect on its landscape? Cerberus Fossi is a steep-sided set of troughs, cutting volcanic plains to the east of Elysian Mons. Steep slopes on Mars have active landslides, also called, mass wasting. Cerberus Fossi is a steep-sided set of troughs, cutting volcanic plains to the east of Elysian Mons. Steep slopes on Mars have active landslides, also called, mass wasting. A fresh impact crater of 30 meters in diameter. The impact threw ejecta as far as 9.3 miles. Perhaps an active asteroid protection program needs to be set in place, after the establishment of a Martian colony, to protect us from these dangers. Here in Nili Fossi, we see layered bedrock, as horizontal striations in the light-toned sediments, on the floor of a canyon, near Sirtis Major. In the distant past, water probably flowed through Nili Fossi. Perhaps, there were even some fishies. Fanzarati Crater The fans built up over time, during intense rainstorms, or from melting snow. Due to the strong winds on Mars, the river channels, that once carried water and sediment on the fan surfaces, are now standing as raised ridges and platforms. Gullies on Mars Gullies on Mars form during the winter, fluidized by carbon dioxide frost. In this midwinter scene, a Martian gully is almost completely frosted, over the pole facing slope within the shadow. 
Aram Chaos. Located in the southern highlands of Mars. Uplifted blocks of light tone layers, composed largely of the iron oxide hematite, and water altered silicates, indicate that this crater once held a lake. Martian Slopes This area is typical of the Martian highlands, experiencing rock falls and debris avalanches, with lava flows and water lane materials depositing layers, then broken up and jumbled by many impact events. A mesa in Noctis Labyrinthus Surrounded by sand dunes in Noctis Labyrinthus, an extensively fractured region on the western end of I.S. Marineris. This layered mesa is probably comprised of sedimentary deposits that are being exhumed as it erodes. A small part of the near rim ejecta from Tudin Crater. The flow looks much like a typical lava flow, but doesn't emanate from a volcanic event. Instead, this must be either melted rock from the impact event, or wet debris flow from the melting of ice. This area, shows streaks forming on slopes, when dust cascades downhill. The dark streak is an area of less dust, compared to the brighter and reddish surroundings. What triggers these avalanches is not known, but might be related to a sudden warming of the surface. Eroded layers in Shalbaton of IS. Layers, probably sedimentary in origin, have undergone extensive erosion. In this image from NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter of Shalbaton of IS, a prominent channel that cuts through Xanthi Terra. Dust devils on Mars often create long dark markings where they pull a thin coat of dust off the planet's surface. This area shows a cluster of these tracks, on the flat ground below the layered deposits, at the South Pole. Lingering Frost Mars North Polar Layered Deposits, comprise a thick stack of icy layers. Part of this area, has lingering seasonal frost, which serves, to accentuate those layers. This area, shows the red planet's hail crater. A large impact crater, with a suite of interesting features, such as active gullies, active recurring slope linea, and extensive icy, ejecta flows. There are also exposed, diverse bedrock units. Layered deposits in Osboy Vallis. These deposits may record deposition into a large lake that once filled it when it was temporarily dammed at its northern end, by the Rimholden crater, and before it was overtopped, and breached, allowing water to drain back out of the valley. Colorful Equatorial Gullies in Prupac Crater The colors of the gully deposits, match the colors of the eroded source materials. Krupak is a relatively young impact crater, but exposes ancient bedrock. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to stay updated on future videos. We are planning some awesome starship animations and the likes in the near future.